If you were to buy a non-electric car right now, you would be putting yourself in a very risky position because they're being banned much quicker than people realize. There has been a ban on the sales of electric cars in 2035 in California, New York, Europe, and a number of other countries. However, it's actually not what you think. This is happening quicker because some cities are beginning to ban, literally ban gasoline powered cars in their cities. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking, great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the electric revolution. Love to see you at Fully Charged Live in Sydney. It's only in a few weeks time from now. I better book my tickets because I'm in Thailand right now. I've got to get back to Australia. If you wonder why I'm here in Thailand, it's for my wife's cancer treatment. She's got stage four cancer. She's going through some treatments right now for that. Apparently they say it's incurable. Let's hope that's, let's hope that's not true. If you want to hear about more about that, if you want to see more about that, I'll put a link in the description below to our GoFundMe campaign. Oregon and Washington have joined California in banning the sales of gasoline-powered cars from 2035 onwards. In 2030, in Norway, you'll only be able to buy electric cars. And well, there's no point to that ban anyway, because they already hit about 85% EV only sales. They're going to hit fully electric way before 2030. So that makes no difference. And that could be the case with most of these countries, if not all of them. The Netherlands say they'll only sell electrified vehicles starting in 2025, two years away. India, even India has set an incredible goal for electrification saying they will only sell electric and plug-in hybrids in 2030. That would be huge. I mean, smog and fumes pollution are a huge problem in india so that's going to be a massive massively good thing for people in india not only not only that but think about it electric bikes electric tuk-tuks electric motorbikes electric scooters electric anything is much more affordable to actually run a lot of people just don't realize that yet china they're moving towards being fully electric we're looking at nearly 35 percent right now they're saying they'll be electric and plug-in hybrid only haven't given a date yet. United Kingdom, they say they'll ban the sales of petrol and diesel cars in 2035. Europe, all petrol and diesel car sales, even plug-in hybrids, they've been banned in 2035. What do you think your car is going to be worth if you buy a gasoline-powered car before then or even around now? I think it could lose more value than you realize. And the reason being, some cities are starting to ban the use of non-electric cars inside the interior of those cities. The reason being, those fumes we now know cause cancer. Now, cities like Barcelona, Copenhagen, Vancouver, and a number of others are planning to ban gas and diesel powered cars in 2030. In other words, you can't drive them in those cities in 2030. Now, this is a little bit like banning cigarette smoking inside a restaurant. When this first happened, people were thinking, this is ridiculous, this is not fair. How can you ban smoking inside of a restaurant? This is outrageous. Yeah, now you see how ridiculous that sounds, right? Well, actually, gasoline fumes, diesel fumes are worse than fumes from cigarette smoking. They're worse, significantly worse. Much more likely to cause cancer than cigarettes are. Think about it. Millions of deaths are now being said to be responsible for that reason. Copenhagen, the most bike-friendly city in the world, is working on an aggressive timeline. It plans to ban all diesel-powered cars within the next 12 months. The mayors of Los Angeles, Mexico City, Seattle, Barcelona, Vancouver, Milan, Quito, Cape Town, Auckland, all have pledged to ban gas and diesel-powered cars from many parts of their cities. In fact, if not all of their cities, within the next few years or at least before 2030. The city of Hamburg, the first German state to ban new registrations of combustion engine taxis from 2025, has said we hope that this decision in Hamburg will have a signaling effect for Germany and the whole of Europe. Electrifying the entire taxi fleet will save 25,000 tonnes of CO2 emissions per year, the city has said, and they've said they started the switch to emissions-free taxis in 2021. One of the reasons that this is working so well is because taxi drivers, they want to do it anyway. They realize that they save so much money by driving an electric car. Servicing is cheaper. 
cost of ownership is cheaper. Everything about them is significantly better than a gasoline powered taxi. In Copenhagen, nearly 400 of the city's taxis are electrified. That's a share of just over 12%. That's the highest share in Germany, 25 of which are powered by hydrogen, surprisingly. I don't know how they get the fuel for them, but anyhow. Industry representatives called the ongoing shift to emission-free vehicles a success. We are firmly convinced that the future of our industry is electric and that the changeover date is feasible, said the CEO, Hansa Taxi, Thomas Lowes. The EU last year agreed to end combustion engine sales by 2035, but some cities have gone further. Some countries have gone further. The Netherlands, Ireland, and Sweden will ban them in 2030. As you can see, if you were to buy a combustion-powered car in 2023, right before they're about to be banned in many countries and cities all over the world, I think you'd be making a huge mistake. Basically, I'm making this video to try to save you money, to try to save you time. Don't waste your money. I mean, really, if you need to buy a gasoline or diesel-powered car, if you need to for some reason, definitely don't buy one new. Buy one secondhand. Buy a cheap one if you have to. But if you don't have to, buy the future. Buy an electric car. I can tell you from first-hand experience, they are so much better to drive and so much better to own. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.